In this video, we're going to be looking at addition again. Uh, this time, we're going to use a bead string. Um, this principle will remain the same. It's two different colored um, objects, and we will be um, finding one number and then counting on to the second number. If you didn't see the first video, if you just check the link in the description, and that'll take you to part one of this year one addition series. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. So the first question is 9 add 3. So what we'll do with our bead string is we're going to count 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we're going to make sure we add 3 more beads to the total number of beads. So 1, two, three. So now we need to count the total number of beads all together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So nine plus three equals twelve. Now Bead strings are fantastic, uh, much in the same way as a tens frame. They allow us to visualize tens and units because the number 12 is made up of one ten and two units because you can see this here. The red beads indicate one group of 10 and the white beads indicate a second group. And in this case, that is our units and that is one group of 10 and two units, which is 12. Okay, let's have a look at the second question. So this time, it's going to be 12 add 4, or 12 plus 4. So much like last time, we're going to count out the beads to one side. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now will swap to the different colour. 11, 12. So there we have our 12 beads. Add another four. One, two, three, four. And now, once again, we'll count how many there are all together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So twelve add four equals sixteen. Once again, you will notice that it's a group of 10 here, is the reds, and there are six units here. So 16 is one 10 and six units. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. <clears throat> now this time, it's six add eight. Now, those of you who have seen the last video and have started to get into the habit of um, swapping these around will remember that I spoke about putting the big number before the small number. So let's swap this round so we make it 8 add 6. As I've said before, it doesn't actually matter which way you do an addition calculation, you will get the same answer. But this is a good habit to get into for later in your maths journey. Okay, so let's count the first number is eight. Some of you who are a little uh, bit more confident with your counting, you may want to count this in twos to make it a little bit quicker, but just be careful. We'll check that in a minute. So we'll go for two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add another six, two, four, six. So now we're going to count those all together. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 8 add 6 equals 14. Now once again, let's just quickly look at our place value here. So that's 1, 10 and 4 units. And as you can see, the red beads here indicate that there is 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
and four units. One, two, three, four, represented by the white beads. Bead strings are a really great way to um, develop your counting skills as they work in a linear form um, and that you know, prepares us for working with number lines later on.